even though the anime is kind of it's like trash it's not kind of <laughs> it is trash it's like, <laughs> Ooh, i love this anime about incest mm. <laughs> but i mean Hello, everyone, and welcome to Anime Club After Dark, the podcast that delves into all things anime, manga, and otaku culture related. I'm your host, Alex, but you can call me Senpai. And joining me tonight, I have our czar of source material, John. He who sips tea while listening to classical. <laughs> well, thank what you for that? introducing Chinoda. <laughs> what does that mean, Chinoda? <laughs> Literally that. I, I do that. This dude does not understand what a nickname means. I swear it's to a, God. It's a title. Thank you very much. Okay. Also, I just well, realized I should have worn my bochi shirt. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a good, a good opportunity based on what we're going to be talking about tonight. You you missed a big opportunity there. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah, tonight uh, the three of us have gotten together because, um, well, we're going to be talking about OPs. Uh, one of the, our favorite things about uh, watching anime. This was also suggested in our Discord server not too long ago, so you can check down below if you'd like to join that. Um, it was... Uh, not requested, but suggested by uh, user Classy Ulysses or Classy the Milf Hunter as he goes by in our Discord server, which I, I still love that name, by the way. Um, because he saw that we had talked about this years ago. And by years ago, I mean like back in 2016. And we hadn't really talked about it since. So it was a good chance for us to talk about it because there have been a lot of new OPs that have come out since then that we yeah. like. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're going to talk about that. Um, not only are we going to talk about some of our favorite OPs, um, I want to ask you guys, what do you think is something that goes into a good OP? Like, what, what makes for a good OP for you guys? I mean, personally, as long as the song is fucking fire, I don't care what it looks like. Though, <laughs> I will admit, if it has pretty flashing pictures while the song is fire... I, that's not a deterrent either you know like I, the I, jiggling I might be, keys <laughs> yeah <laughs> well it's because in, in classic anime fashion like how many anime fans out there all right comment down below let me know yeah what percentage do you think you skip your anime ops because i think a bunch of people do i think a well over 95 percent of anime fans skip ops also, like yeah. and subscribe if you want to see more. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Just, I, you're right, though. I think there's a lot of people. So, for me, like, when I watch an anime, especially if I'm watching week to week, because um, I like to try to keep up with as many as possible, I realize that if I skip the OP, that's the 90 seconds that I've saved myself. Um, For me, personally, and this goes for both OPs and EDs, I straight up skip them unless they are... There's very few OPs and EDs that will straight up catch my attention and is a, I have to listen and watch every single time. It, like, some seasons, I don't even get that. There's very few that actually are like that for me. So, right. most of the time, it's just like, yeah, skip anime. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I personally skip a bunch of OPs and EDs if the song's not good. Uh, I'll let them play if I'm like, I, cause, because I watch anime like casually or passively Passive, sometimes yeah. uh, I'll, I'll be doing something and I'm like I don't ha I don't have time to skip the OP or ED I'll let it play but as long as it doesn't hurt my ears or something yeah. but I, I feel like that's kind of changed in recent um, years I, I remember specifically there's two anime I want to talk about where I I like the the op alone was like i bet i know one of them and... i bet i know one of them is I, it I... is it is it you know sobe's idol uh, yes of course yes. it's <laughs> Sobe's idol like, yeah. from uh from oshinoko season one like the op alone the song got me to go read the fucking manga all right i i, I was hyped as hell all hell for it i went to go read it even though everyone was talking about the first episode i didn't care about that at all I just listened to the trailer. I was like, this song is too good. I love this <laughs> song. This this OP looks too good. And the, the actual, like, the visuals of the opening itself are really good. I absolutely yeah. adore it. And, uh, you know, as 
I love Yosobi. I love their music. Ever since, I feel like everyone loves Yosobi. Ever since their first yeah. uh, hit, um, in the last like three, four years, they just don't miss. They, they have yeah, not. They really They've been blowing up even more. They even like right now, uh, as we're recording this, the uh, they're doing a there's an ED uh, for Monogatari off season that they've done. Yeah, Undead. It's a really good song. I was a little bit sad that Oshinoko season two isn't using Yosobi to do another <laughs> OP, but like I get it. <laughs> greed. <laughs> we, the greed. We can't, well, we can't confine Yosobi to just like one show. They're they're much no. bigger than that. No. Uh, not and at all. Uh, another one that I wanted to talk about uh, that came out. I think it was last season. Windbreaker. So mm. Mm. watching Windbreaker, the first like 30 seconds, I'm like, oh, this is kind of cool. Like, I think it's going to be a battle manga or whatever or a battle anime. And then I get to the opening. Uh, it is Absolute Zero by Natori. Uh, mm. Pretty sure a lot of people know Natori from uh, the other famous song they did, which is Overdose. Uh, <laughs> that's the song that I wrote. I, I, the only other Natori song I know is Overdose. But when I heard Absolute Zero, I'm like, yo, this song is a fucking banger bro it's like that's a song that i just can't help but like just bob my yeah, head like, yeah, to the yeah, beat. yeah yeah and then the actual visuals on the sh on the opening sequence are fucking phenomenal i so one thing that a lot of animes do especially like action animes right or uh, shonen mm -hmm. animes is that they'll reuse scenes from the actual story arc that they're animating in the op yeah and Essentially, the very first big fight that happens in episode one is the opening soccer sequence. Yeah. Like, it's just that choreography, choreographed scene from that fight. And it, it looks so good. Like, freaking, um, is it? It's Cloverworks, right? That does it? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. I, I think it's Cloverworks. Well, let me double check. I'll yeah. double check that, but I think you're right. It is Cloverworks I that produced Windbreaker. By the way, for people who haven't seen Windbreaker, go watch it. It's a pretty neat little anime. I really like the anime. Like, it's not just a battle manga. Like, people, uh, high school kids fighting and stuff like that. It, it, it's so much deeper than that. It touches me on a personal <laughs> level. <laughs> just because of, like, the morals and the, the the stories that it talks about. It's just like, oh, that's what camaraderie is. And it's like, man, it's good. It's a good show, bro. I feel like it was... And, and despite the title, it is not about farting. I promise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it yeah, is. But, the Cloverworks, like, works, by the way. Okay, yeah, Cloverworks fucking nailed it with the animation, and just yeah. like every time um, that song came on, I would just like I can't, I don't skip it because one, the song is a fucking banger. I have the song downloaded now, um, and I the visuals alone were really good. Like, dude, they put so much effort in the fight scenes. It's so good. Yeah. I feel like we talked about this a little bit before we started talking about how, like, for OPs for longer-running shonen series in particular, um, when the OP is attached to a super hype arc, you tend to like it a little more. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, um, I a lot of my lists that I have here, I, I honestly don't remember what I listed out. I know one of them I listed out was, uh, or two of them were from older anime. One was yeah. I Say Yes by Ichigo, which was my very first downloaded anime song. Uh, that was the first opening song for Familiar of Zero. If anyone, if any old anime fans know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I remember Familiar of Zero. <laughs> again, Sundari Queen, Rei Kugamiya, all right? <laughs> Back in the day. Anyway, I Say Yes by Ichigo was like a banger. I absolutely adored the song. Downloaded it, my very first one. So I, I you never forget your first um to this day i believe it's still in my top like 50 played songs of all time <laughs> just because of how many times i listened know, to it Jesus. back in the day you know you you think about it you just said it you never forget your first i actually remember the very first like anime op song that i ever downloaded was <laughs> it was go by flow <laughs> <laughs> see and and like so there is just certain songs associated with with the hype right like for yeah. me personally like aqua times uh, mm. was a band that I I didn't you know getting into Japanese music like J-Rock and J-Pop and stuff like that uh, I feel like especially for anime fans or for a lot of people their first, first exposure is gonna be through anime like that, yeah. that's just kind of a, a given and my first exposure to uh, Aqua Times was through their Bleach opening alone and mm. like we uh, and I was talking to Chinoda about it and, it, and he's like, oh, what is that? And then he hears the first song that, and he's like, and it oh, I know the clicks. song. I know the song. It's like, yes. <laughs> the first five notes of this song will make people go, I know this song. 
and it's the, it's the very same uh thing for listening to go by flow yeah like when you hear you that not, when you hear that you may not know the beats. song well you may not know the song is called go and you might know the uh, the band flow but you will remember we are uh, fighting, fighting dreamers, dreamers. <laughs> the funny <laughs> like, thing everyone is like remembers that the funny thing yeah. is that you can always you always know when it's about to start because you hear the the just the, the guitar bang nah, on the cymbals that it's the iconic uh, sounds that you that embed in your brain. <laughs> I mean, Ch and Chinoda will probably back me up on this. Getting to watch Flo play that live was awesome. It was magical. It was simply magical. Yeah, it's just like how Asian Kung Fu Generation, literally all of their opening songs from all of their <laughs> anime, all across of all time, because they're, to me, I feel like Asian Kung Fu Generation kind of transcends. Uh, just like anime music, they're they're just a very I think popular. It's just because their music is so good. Yeah, they're just a very popular band, just in general. Yeah, like, yeah. just I remember uh, a couple years ago, Chinoda, you went to an Asian Kung Fu Generation concert, and you were just like, like, "Oh my god, it was so fucking good! I love Asian Kung Fu Generation!" And I'm just like, "Lucky bastard, <laughs> I'd never be able to get to go to one of their concerts." Do Do you not remember going to this you concert and telling us about it? Oh my god, you did you, you would. Yes, you did. Oh you would not shut up about it. It was a couple years ago. It, yeah, it was at least a Buddy, year I ago. I barely remember two weeks ago. <laughs> anyway, you take my word on it. You even talked about it on one of the uh, WTFs, I believe. So I, if I really felt like it, I could pull up receipts, but I'm not going to. Either that or a monthly <laughs> dump or something. I know he talked about it on the podcast. But, uh, yeah, Asian Kung Fu Generation. Like, I'm trying to think of... <laughs> what is their most famous anime song? Uh, probably... They didn't reread it, didn't they? They did re re, uh, yeah. and that was repackaged for um, erased. Erased, but I'm pretty sure Asian Kung Fu Generation's most famous song is probably rewrite. I feel like yeah. it's probably rewrite. Yeah, I really like After Dark. That was from Bleach as well. But I, you know, like what is rewrite? Full Metal Alchemist, bro. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> something natural I mean... gasso. Nacho Nacho Gasso. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bring up uh, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. I mean, the first OP from Brotherhood, again, by Yui, is pretty damn good. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good, too. Especially when that, like, that fast-paced rap section kicks in in the middle of it. Yeah, but, like, Asian Kung Fu Generation is so iconic that Bochi the Rock, we talked about earlier. Yeah. Bochi's characters are all named after Asian Kung Fu Generation. Yeah. <laughs> I can see Chinoda like thinking, did I go to an Asian Kung Fu Generation no, concert? No, no, I'm researching. I'm trying to find when they came. I'm just like, when the fuck was that? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he I'm pretty sure he talked about it in the podcast. I, I know he talked about it. Because it was the first because I remember being jealous that he went to an Asian Kung Fu Generation concert. I wanted to go. Oh man. Uh, do you, but... so do you think there are OPs that actually transcend anime? Like they, they go beyond like anime fans. Oh yeah, for sure. Like specifically uh <laughs> the most Cruel classic Angel's of thesis. all classics, Cruel Angel's Thesis. Like it, it transcends anime. <laughs> like the actual anime opening sequence. It's yeah. first of all, the song is really popular. Every yeah. fucking Otaku, anyone who's ever watched anime probably has heard of Cruel Angel's Thesis, because there's so many references to it all the time forever. Right? Hell, even if you've never even, like, watched anime, you probably are familiar with the song because it's been parodied so much and made a meme of. Yeah, like, uh, I was talking about how regular show, they did an anime opening that parodies Cruel's Angel's thesis. Yeah. And I was like, when I was watching it on Cartoon Network, I'm like, yo, I know that! <laughs> like, the Leonardo meme, like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I just, I always remember with that, the, uh, someone on YouTube back several years ago did a meme of that with uh, King of the Hill, cruel propane thesis. <laughs> that was great. But yeah, I feel like that's something that certainly transcended anime in general. Tank, I feel all from uh, from Cowboy Bebop probably has yeah, too. Yeah, like Tank is a it's a very iconic song. Again, just like much like Go from Flow. Maybe people don't know the song name, like it, that it's called Tank. Everyone calls it Fighting Dreamers. They don't call it Go. Yeah, <laughs> everyone calls it Fighting Dreamers, but. Even you, actually... as long as you hear the notes, you'll recognize the song. I feel like because of how iconic Tank is in like the jazz community, for example, yeah. it's just very popular of a song. It's not just anime nerds who like it, but also the visuals in Tank are something that a lot of other people steal 
because it's such a good opening sequence. Do you know how there's this, uh, like, meme or, or, like, trend of people when they go to rock concerts, especially if it's, like, a, a rock band playing at, like, some bar or something? They shout out Freebird, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, because they want these people to play Freebird because it's such an iconic rock song. Right. Do you know, it like, at, at jazz bars and stuff, people will actually scream out to play Tank. <laughs> I, really? I would believe that. They do. I would believe that. <laughs> <laughs> So I will say, um, <laughs> all of us obviously very much enjoy the music in openings. What do you guys think of visuals, uh, animations, and such uh, in openings? How I much of a there, draw there, is that? There, for you? there, are, there are OPs out there that have good visuals with shitty songs, which is a shame. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, but I like feel, visuals can really sell it, though. I, I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen the YouTube video "Every Anime Opening Ever." Yeah, yes, just, I have. They, they parody the like one person looks up, the other one person looks down as they're facing each other, then face away, then back to back. The running scene, <laughs> reaching yeah. out the hand. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, every anime opening ever though. <laughs> yeah, I've seen I've seen that video on YouTube. Yeah, it's so actually it's a like, pretty good, well edited video, by the way. It's amazing. Uh, but the thing is, anime openings kind of fall into a rut of like, here's the stuff like especially like shonen shonen all anime shonen ops kind of are all the same because it's the same type of visual stuff it's always about the same themes anyway so like a couple of standouts here and there but yeah you're right yeah but i think you have to look outside of genre for that yeah like, I, I just feel like the the amount of effort that people put into openings and endings it doesn't really translate to like more viewership i should say because, like I said, a lot of people do skip it. A lot of people don't, like, when it comes on, it, even if they don't skip it physically, they'll just ignore it. Because they're going to be like, oh, they." it's like a commercial break. You know, it's like, okay, commercial's running. Got to do something else while it's playing. So I feel like they spend a lot more time trying to make a good-sounding song than a good-looking song. Because that, don't I get do. me wrong, I like good-looking openings and stuff. Like, Clatanoia, uh by um, OXT. The first Overlord opening, I love oh, that. Yeah, the visuals yeah, yeah, look yeah. cool. I like it. The song is fucking fire. Uh, literally, any of the uh, <laughs> any of the opening songs for Overlord are really. First of all, they're really good songs, and yeah, also yeah. visuals are really good. Just I, in all of the openings. God, hearing and you say OXT immediately thought made me think of the uh, the OP they did for Gridman. Oh I, yeah, that was good. I feel like Overlord's budget was all spent on their opening sequence. <laughs> yeah, for I don't sure. know about that, buddy. Yeah. I don't I know will say, that. I will say, have you guys seen the trailer for the Overlord movie? I have, yes. Yes, yes, yeah. It's there's I didn't see any like horrendous CGI. It looks pretty good. I'm pretty you know, hyped for I, it. I'm I, was, I, was, I am I, I, I'm like I'm like I'm like either either they're not putting it in intentionally because they know it's bad, or there's no actual bad CGI in this movie. <laughs> well, there was CGI in the trailer. You see it for a little bit, uh, but it yeah, but I mean, no bad CGI. Yeah, it's. I will say or, the CGI or, in big think they put all the money in the trailer. <laughs> yeah, God. <laughs> Damn that would be you, a very, Madhouse. <laughs> that would be a very Madhouse thing to do. Come to think of it. God. Anyway, um, yeah, like I, I feel like. If it has really strong visuals, it won't be enough for me to sit and watch it every single time. But as long as it has a really good song, I'll at least listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. For me personally, um, I love a song. I absolutely love a song. But if there's a good visual component to it as well, I am hooked. I am hooked in so bad. Like, um... For example, 99 by uh, Mob Choir. Yeah, yeah that's a really good. For, that, really for the good Mob visuals, Cycle 100 yeah. OPs, yeah. Like, the uh, song itself, good song, fun song, but the visuals on top of it make it such a banger, and, like, you feel the energy of the anime uh, coming through the OP because of that. It's so cool. Yeah. And there's so many various different uh, animes that do... Um, not just a um a video like a generic video for the op um they have either a comedic element they do it uh adventure style or they do um presentations of what's going to be coming from the uh in the anime uh in the future episodes or like who's coming who's going to be showing up and what i especially love what i 
especially love about so many animes is when they slowly change it over time. I love animes that do that component where it's like, eventually, like if you keep on it's watching, an evolving you're like, opening. yeah, like it, yes, it, it yeah. reveals like, more uh, of a yeah, Durara. Or, no, no, sorry, I, yeah. sorry, sorry, not Durara. Um, no, Durara Dora. does that too. Oh, it does a it little does, bit. But... It, it does a little bit. No, I was thinking about uh, Dororo. Um, how? Oh, you mean the remake they did a few years ago? Yes, yes, the remake yes. where um, as the episodes go on uh, in each OP, you see him uh being able to see more and more because he was initially blind, and like. At the end uh, of the season, you see him being able to actually see. And it's so cool. I love evolving OPs like that, which are visual. Like, you hear the same a... thing, but visually, you see something different each time. I love that aspect. That was that. that I'll be honest with you. In, in the Dodo remake from a few years ago, which is, I think, an anime that not enough people watch because it's really fucking good. Um, that was a really nice little touch they did with the OP. And there are different animes that do that. It doesn't get talked yeah. about often. And it's not necessarily something that'll bring in viewers. But I do think, from a fandom point of view, I think it's something that we definitely talk about and we love. Because it's such mm. an iconic, cool thing that does not happen. Yeah, right. I mean, and But I feel like a really good, strong-sounding OP will just draw people in. Like, for example, Oh, so much more. Absolutely. I agree. Claire, uh, Irony by Claris, like absolute one of my favorite Claris songs um, of all time, forever. Uh, and it introduced me to Claris. I really liked, the, I really liked the old Claris. I don't really like the new Claris too much. Their songs aren't as good as before. I don't know who you had writing your songs before, but go back to them. But uh, yeah, Irony is such a good song, even though the anime is kind of it's like trash it's not kind of <laughs> it is trash it's like, <laughs> Ooh, i love this anime about incest mm. <laughs> but i mean i i just i love the fact that irony existed was good enough for me to continue watching all of Odemo. i and you know like honestly i don't think Odemo was that bad until the ending uh but even then it's like okay it's whatever but my point still stands uh, that a, a really strong song can pull you through. Like, and another one that I have. Uh, oh, so hold on. Before you move on, would you say that the fact that it's a great OP in such a shitty show is ironic? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. Also, I just I... listened to it. Holy crap. I feel old listening to it. To what? So long. Irony. Yeah, so na yes I see. See, I I know it because I listen to it so much. But uh, another anime where I was like, man, this anime fucking is absolute trash. But holy shit, was the op the opening song just so good? Like the actual opening sequence was fucking garbage. It looked stupid, but the song was so good. Uh, it's a uh, respect for the dead man by Pay Money to My Pain, and it's like a japanese metal band rock band okay i'm not sure what they would classify themselves as uh the band's broken up now because the lead singer guitarist died of a heart condition or Ooh, something a couple years bullshit. ago but uh yeah but uh respect for the dead man i love the song dude like it's so for it's metal as fuck and it's just like yeah yeah what anime <laughs> it got me hyped for it's an op for nobunaga absolute oh. garbage tier anime <laughs> it's so oh. dumb oh i think i know which one you're talking there's like 50 anime that are about oda nobunaga <laughs> yeah it's almost like do you know how little that narrows it down but i think i know the one you're talking about it's the one where they have to fight against like bug type enemies or something I yeah think. i know exactly the one you're and talking about each every person uh people can awaken to a hero from the past and they'll have weapons associated with said hero. Yeah, I, like our I main character, she she awakens to Nobunaga gun because Nobunaga and he liked guns. So her ability is that she has a fucking arm cannon looking this like Mega Man. This sounds so stupid. It is you know super stupid. You and know what's funny? Her, I think her about counterpart this a lot. is Jack the Ripper. <laughs> nice. And his power is that he uses blades because he's you know Jack the Ripper. And okay. I'm like, this is Get so it, dumb. Ripper blades, haha. <laughs> I think um, Galileo is in there too. 
yeah she's like a support character where it's like her power is that she's just super smart and it's like because i'm galileo and it's like it, again stupid freaking anime i watched every single one of it because that opening song is so good <laughs> you know how we make fun of the fact that there's so many anime about like oda nobunaga right and like he's like this big hero in japanese society if the irish made anime there'd be a billion of about saint patrick yeah i could see that i could see that though i just wonder like... how much more they would get out of hating the british <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold, hold on now let's not get let's not say anything to get uh car bombs set off near my house here. yeah <laughs> oh, God. yeah but yeah i you know going back to like anime openings that transcend the anime um i think silhouette by kanaboon was is a, a song that yeah. transcended its own anime because of all the memes like yeah i i love silhouette um it's the song that introduced me to Kanaboon, right? Mm -hmm. And great band, by the way. Like, a lot of the people on my list here, like, Kanaboon, Aqua Times, Uverworld, um, Asian Kung Fu Generation. Uh, I haven't talked about Bumpy Chicken yet, but I will. And, um, oh my god, there's one more. Who did it? Flo. Uh, Flo, yes. These bands Which, are... Ironically, isn't on your list, but it's on mine. Well, because I saw that you put it in... Because... I the most famous flow song is obviously going to be "Go." We are fighting dreamers, but yeah. that's not my favorite flow song. My favorite flow song is probably is "Remember." I was gonna say, "Is it Colors from Oh uh, from Code um, Geass. Code Geass, yeah, yeah, yeah." That, yeah. Jibunwo, sekai, yeah. <laughs> I really like that song too. Colors is really good, but it's "Remember." We, we got to see them play that too live, and that was yeah. "Remember" <laughs> is the yeah. My the, friend, we're just singing our hearts out to that. <laughs> I think "Remember" is the eighth Naruto opening. But they also did the opening yes. for Eureka 7, one of the openings. Um, yes, we, we got to see that live, too. That. <laughs> That's a really good song, too. That's yeah, a really was. great song. <laughs> Low is a really good band. But these people dominated uh, early shonen and early early anime yeah. openings, right? And they were always Especially on the in the 2000s, for sure. Yeah, like the mid the early mid-2000s, two mid-2000s to like maybe 2010s, early 2010s. I would say these bands just fucking rocked it. They were always on rotation. Like, Uverworld yeah. was for Bleach. Uh, Aqua Times also was for Bleach, but they'd also rotate to other things. Asian Kung Fu Generation, again, it's just timeless, but Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, yeah. Kanaboon helped do uh, Naruto. And it's just... These bands, I feel like they, they kind of just transcend, like, because they're, they're so iconic, they transcend just any song. And I actually like songs that they don't have on animes but they yeah. also have songs that are created where the creators of anime are also like man this is a really good song hey contact their company let's get it to be our anime opening and it's like <laughs> they kind of just have that power you know and to me like yeah. i just i absolutely love silhouette like the whole filthy frank thing where he free creates the anime opening <laughs> hilarious but the song is just really good to this day i love listening to silhouette and God, then the opening sequence hope... itself is really good too you just you just, you just maybe i think it's something i hope one day because now that Joji makes music full time, right? Yeah. <laughs> God, I I wanted to do music for an anime at some point. Please. I mean, thanks Please. to thanks it to Kaiju Number Eight. Surprise me. Yeah. Well, thanks to Kaiju Number Eight using Western Western music creators for their opening and their ending, right? Young Blood and um. Uh, One, One uh, Republic. One, One Republic. Republic yeah. um, and they actually ooh. sounded good. It's the thing. We we there is a very likely possibility that it's going to happen again where more western artists are invited to do anime songs any songs yeah. which no. is pretty cool you know that happened um years ago too with um uh eden of the east because their op was um uh fuck uh shit. what was that song called god damn it i don't remember i gotta look this up real quick well while he looks that up yeah. uh Elfin lead, Lilium. Elfin lead, Elfin lead. Uh, Amazing or, opening. That, like that's put on backwards. Lilium, Oasis uh, falling down by Oasis. So Lilium is a. It really. I love the song because it's like it's Gregorian. It's like it's super creepy. But then the visuals itself are really good too in the opening sequence because it's like it's all it's like glass stained art. It's like this, stained glass art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This uh. 
this the anime and especially the song is actually what introduced me to Gregorian chants and Gregorian songs. I'm like like I remember Little Me, very little me who should not have been watching this yeah. anime <laughs> uh was watching and listening to it. I'm like Man, I have literal chills. What the hell? What is this? This is amazing. And I looked it up uh, on very early YouTube uh, at the time. And Watching I was it just... five minutes at a time. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I looked up what type of music it was, and I was just like, oh, this this hits. I don't know why it's hitting, but it hits. Like, it hits my soul. I would um, also like to point out there are titties in that OP. I yeah, straight ahead. up. <laughs> very, very little me was very happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, uh, Lilium is one of those iconic songs because of how different it is. And like, not just was, but still is to most other OPs because it uses specifically Gregorian chants, which are just so out there, so freaking left field, it's not even on the continent. I mean, it's in, it's... It's chanted in Latin, I believe, right? I think so. Yes. yes the entire is. song is in Latin. And, yeah. you know, that reminds me of uh, Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, my God. What is the song called? Uh, it's, you're talking it's, about it's the, the Russian song. The, um, for Standalone Complex, Standalone right? Complex, yes. Um, uh, Ortega? I'll look it up. It's done by Ortega. but Origa. Origa? Or, okay. Or, it's done by Origa, but I don't remember the song name. Um, I'm looking it up. I, I know what you're talking about. Uh, no, Iconic I don't want song. Arise, you fucker. <laughs> no, put that shit away. Inner no. Universe. Inner Universe is the Inner name of the Universe song. by uh, Origa. Amazing song. The visuals yeah. are kind of just like, they're weird and out there, but I mean, Ghost in the Shell is kind of weird and out there. But the song yeah. itself was really fucking good. Oh my god. And that's another anime opening song, sung by a Japanese person for sure, but she sung in Russian, I believe. Yeah, it's was well, sung in Japanese and Russian simultaneously. Well, not simultaneously. No, I, I swear but... it was only Russian, isn't? Maybe I'd have to I, look I, it up. I, I could be misremembering, but I know there's definitely Russian in there. But I thought there was some Japanese in there too. I'm pretty sure it's only in Russian. But um, by the... Origa also did Rise, which was the second season um, op for. I mean, it's Ri Complex, Rise. That was good. good. That rise is good, but it's no inner universe, bro. Let's no, let's no, be honest here. <laughs> no, it's not. But it it is still a good OP song. Yeah, but I feel like these are a lot more niche. Like, uh, I'm not sure how many people still remember this anime, but Samurai Champloo. Uh, yes, a real opening quick, song. Real quick, oh, yeah. I just want to say, uh, Elfin uh, Lilium is done by Kumiko Noma. Uh, she's a, a Japanese opera singer. I mean, so I, I, I just want to. I, I figured give that credit. because it's in freaking sung like in a Gregorian Latin word, like duh. <laughs> no, 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 but like I didn't put uh, who it was done by, and like oh, we didn't I read see, that I out see. loud. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. wanted to say from it the anime, um, Elfin Lead, Lily, yeah. by such and so, a Japanese uh, opera Kumiko singer. Noma, yeah, yeah, like I, I knew it was done by someone who was doing opera because it's, it you sounds like someone who does opera. <laughs> Listen, opera singers sound different compared to regular singers. Right? Built different. They built I mean, different. Just, just listen to when Iron. Just listen to when Iron Mouse does opera. Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, because she's classically trained as well, right? She's a yeah. classically trained opera singer. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking uh, of diff built different, Nuja Beast. Yeah. yeah Nujabis. So. Nujabis is Nujabis, a. Yeah. I mean, everyone says it's. The guy's name is Jun Seba. He p took his name and reversed it to be Nujabis that's that's the thing that's all it is so you can pronounce yeah. however you want uh but battle cry from samurai champloo is a really good song i think it's very popular among people who are into lo-fi because people who are yeah. into lo-fi probably know who new jobbies is and I, I i don't know if it's iconic enough to be like um something that everyone would know like especially because you know new jobbies has been dead for a long time now um, unfortunately, R. I. P. Unfortunately, very unfortunately. unfortunately. But I, I personally love his music to this day. I still listen to a lot of new Jobby stuff, and it, he, he introduced me to a lot of different artists that I like as well. Uh, yeah. And it's not just his like, not just Battle Cry or any of the songs that he used in um, Shamari Champloo, because he was a Japanese hip hop artist that also did the soundtrack, the entire OST for Samurai Champloo. And Battle Cry is, is a the opener. 
The OST is amazing. It has a lot of good songs. Like, I think his most famous song, Nujabi's song, is probably Aurorian uh, Dance. Mm. Because that's, like, the classic Beats to Study to song <laughs> on YouTube. I swear. Everybody knows that one. Everyone knows that one. And I guarantee you, mo a lot of people who know at least um, Aurorian Dance for studying music in, or music to study to probably don't even know that it's an and technically speaking an annie song because it was made for samurai champloo so yep. i think that it's 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 niche that people would know who who noon jobbies is but they do know his song at least aurorian dance i would argue that the, everyone does know that one yeah god it's been for a while sure. since i've listened I, to this yeah has. you're listening to way, it right shooting, now aren't you <laughs> shooting shooting star is really a really good new jobby song also the love six series with shing zero two is really good just letting you know also, Feather by with Sice Rock is really good too, or Sice Star is really good um, too. <laughs> a few years ago, when I was at Otakon, I want to say it was I actually I want to say it was pre-COVID. As a matter of fact, um, they did a, a musical tribute to to New Jibis there, and they had like yeah. Shingo too, and they had a bunch of other people that he's worked with over the or had worked with over the years, um, and they not only played uh, his music but some of the stuff that they had collaborated on together it was a really good show yeah so like that's that's one of the instances of a another person who transcends anime mainly yeah. because like there's the lo-fi community but also like just the entire Aurorian dance thing like i know, i know some people contribute new jobbies to being the guy who started lo-fi um, I'm not sure if I would agree with that statement or not because I think Lo-Fi existed before New Jobbies did, but he definitely popularized it. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, he, he may he not have started it, it, but he definitely made it popular. Yeah, for sure, because people always try to, like, there's so many people who try to copy, uh, copy, copy uh, <laughs> his style of music. Well, one of the guys I'm, I was going to, I was thinking of for hip-hop, like, who s directly rips his style from New Jobbies isn't something coffee. Coffee and, coffee and jazz? Uh, I don't remember his I, I know, forget but it, his name. You know what? You know what? Having a cup of coffee while listening to New Jibbies is pretty good. It's pretty relaxing. Yeah, bro. It's vibes. It's vibes. It's, it's all it's vibes. vibes. It is. Yeah. It is. L listen to though. No, listen to to New Jibbies music on like a rainy day with a cup of coffee in your hand. That's the best way to do it. Um. I, so something I wanted to ask because I know the answer for for John because I know the answer is yes. Can a good OP alone get you to watch an anime? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Nobunaga. Um, absolute now. zero with uh, well, Windbreaker was actually really good too. But at least for uh, Nobunaga, I absolutely detested it, but I did keep watching it because of the song. <laughs> so <laughs> now I will say, just because it'll get me to watch an anime, it doesn't necessarily mean I'll keep on watching the anime. I might drop it. Fair, but. It, it like I hear a good OP, I see a good uh, visual OP, whatever. See it, hear it, whatever. If it catches me, I will be like, okay. I'll check you out. Like yeah, like, this was great. Like let when me I, check you out. See what you're when about. When I hear the My Hero Academia opening songs for all the new seasons and stuff, I'm like, man, I, I this looks so good. I like this song. I really, I maybe I should give My Hero, and then I'm like, no, stop yourself, no. <laughs> cease. <laughs> It's like you're just like no, no. <laughs> I have to fight my inner instincts of wanting to watch a bad show. Don't don't click it. Good. Don't click it. Don't click it. Yeah, because uh, yeah. like uh, it was like that for me as well for like Sao. Like watching the first episode. Banger of OPs. The first opening song, "Crossing Field" by Lisa, amazing. Introduced me to Lisa. Really like her songs. I'm pretty sure Gurenge is probably her most famous song now, but before yeah. before Demon Slayer, it was Crossing Field. I was gonna uh, I was gonna point that out. Gurenge is probably what got me to start watching Demon Slayer because I did not start watching that from the the time it started airing. I was only watching it. I think I started watching it at week like six or seven after it started airing. But someone showed me that OP, and I'm like, "Fuck! I got to watch it now." I, like I said, I read Demon Slayer before I even knew the anime was coming out. And when I saw the anime came out, I was like, hey, I talked about this before. And I was right. It's a, And it was a super popular shonen, like always. I never miss with my shonen 
Hire me, anime industry. Oh, I'll no, tell you which I, shonens I, would make you I a still bunch think of money. The, the craziest example of that to me is when you were talking to us about um, Goblin Slayer. Because you predicted almost to the day that they were going to announce an anime adaptation. <laughs> it's true. It's, you, were, you were two weeks off. You were two weeks off with your anime announcement prediction. That's mainly because I can, like, as someone, as the Sorrow Source material, I consume a lot of material, like web novels, light novels, mangas, and then subsequently the anime. And I can one. notice trends, and I, I look at uh, ranking charts and stuff as well. So it's pretty easy for me to predict, like, what in what show is gonna get something at least when it comes to like really popular ones and when i consume content like especially shown in manga it's easy for me to tell like yeah this is gonna be a pretty big hit like it, i i don't i can't explain to you i cannot articulate to you why i know this information but i just do it's just kind of a gut it's an instinct thing. it's an so, instinct because i consume so much i have something to say oh boy here we go I don't like Gurenge. Really? Wow. A lot yeah. of people like it. I like wow. the song, but... Hot I... take incoming. Two reasons. One, I I think it sounds good, but... The opening just sequence okay. is so cool, though, bro. No, it, it looks nice, and it sounds good, but like I don't think it reaches I guess that's because that of high right? of a level. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it reaches that high of a level in terms of like both factors i just think it's you know no I, above I think average that, but that's it yeah i i definitely like again my favorite lisa song is still crossing field i think that one like is the best o anime opening song um from lisa but i think her most popular is probably good and gay because of you know recency bias yeah there's a lot more demon slayer fans than there are sao fans uh and demon slayer is still everywhere yeah demon slayer now. is very popular now, my second reason is because it's been overplayed so goddamn much. I am so sick and tired yeah. of hearing it so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I heard understand. it I can everywhere. Understand. I can understand that. I can understand it being like it's it's just everywhere and you get sick of it. Yeah. I've heard it literally on the metro when I was riding. I'm like, what Bro, the fuck is I, playing? I can listen to if I like a song. I will never get tired of it. That's what it means for me to like a song. I will never stop listening to it. Yeah, like, but if it's not years your favorite song road, ever and you keep hearing it over and over again... And yeah, yeah, I, get but it. I, I start to That makes a lot it. of sense. But the thing is, when I like a song and I download it, I'm like, hey, I'm going to go to Apple Music and I'm going to download this and put it on my phone. It is a song that I will plan to listen... I plan to listen to it for the rest of my life, essentially. Like, that's the commitment I make when I download a song. Oh, so, sure, yeah. It's like... Because I, I maybe download a song every month or two. Not mm -hmm. very many songs make my list of this is such a good song that I'm going to listen to forever. God, yeah, yeah, I it's got just you. like that. And yeah. uh, you know, it's another favorite song of mine is like Aoi Shiori from um, An Anohana Galileo Galileo. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Aoi Shiori is a, a fantastic song. Introduced me to Galileo Galilei, amazing band. I believe they're back together. I'm not sure if this is their last. They're just back together to do one more tour, or if they're back like together a, permanently. Like a farewell tour or something. No, no, no. They broke up. Uh, and so the the band members of Galileo Galilei are all childhood friends, um, oh. or school friends or something. They they all know each other, and they broke up because of like reasons, creative differences or whatever. But they got together. And to do Aoi Shiori on the first take, and then they announced, hey, we're back together. I don't know if they're going to be back together permanently, but they said they were going to do a tour, but I don't know mm. if they're going to be just doing the tour and then being like, okay, this is just the final bow, which makes me sad because, again, amazing band. I love all of their songs that they make. And you know, I feel yeah. the same way about Bump of Chicken. So um, Hello World by Bump of Chicken is the opening sequence or opening song for Kekai Sensen. Another favorite anime of mine, of mine and Natai's. We never shut the fuck up about it. I will, I will watch good. it by the end of the year. I promise. But "Hello World" is the Bump of Chicken song that I heard that made me go, "Okay, I think I like Bump of Chicken. I think I do." Because mm. um, I've I heard about Bump of Chicken from my friend before, but the song that he introduced me to is like one of the earlier songs, and I didn't like it too much. 
he was more into J Rock than I was at the time, and I was just like, yeah, they're bum of chicken, like kind of okay. But then I heard Hello World, and I'm like, maybe, maybe I, this this band deserves a chance. And now it's just like, Perhaps oh my god, I, I have judged like, you too harshly. <laughs> now I have like twenty bump of chicken songs. <laughs> bump of chicken, bump of chicken did a couple of ops for March comes in like a lion that are really yes, good. and that's one of the songs that I own as well. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's really good. Um, that's also a very underrated anime in my opinion march comes in like a lion watch it oh, absolutely. i i'm never gonna watch it and no one's ever gonna watch it just let's uh, be honest here fuck you <laughs> it's only really good because it's so niche that's why well and it's also done by shaft and it looks beautiful i mean it's a really good story it's very emotional it's, and stuff it's but great it's kind of like how monogatari is like super popular with the people who love it and not popular <laughs> with anyone else Speaking of Monogatari, I wanted to talk about those OPs. I absolutely loved the uh, all the OPs done by the people in the um, the voice actors, like yeah. Hanazawa, that, for example. That, that's that's something we have. Everyone knows like Red Eye Circulation, the big ass memes yeah. behind Red Eye yeah. Circulation. Yeah, so I know most really people good. actually listen listen to the uh, other version of Red Eye Circulation instead of uh, the Space what? Jam one. It, Everybody's yeah, the, circulation. No, not the space. Uh, not the Space Jam one. There's uh the actual song, and then there's another version, which is what most people actually listen to, which is there's hilarious to me. Yeah, I, there's like two have versions on YouTube. You might have to yeah, link it to me because I don't know what you're talking I, about. I mean, unless you're talking about some like alternate take that they did of it or something. Yeah, I know the memes. Like, it's like, come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that's everybody's circulation. That's the, that's the video yeah, yeah. it's called. Um, no, but like that's something we haven't talked about yet. Is like we talked about a lot of ops where you know established artists will do it or bands, right. but we haven't talked about ops where the voice actor themselves sing the op. And Monogatari yeah, has a... almost all their ops are like that. I mean, first of all, um, Rie Kugamiya sang in her own op last season. In That's Chilling true. in Another World. Amazing song. Love Rhea Kugumi. Absolutely adore her. But yeah, it's uh it's it's kind of one of those anime tropes where they'll get cast members to sing the opening sequence to a song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I believe Joshi uh, Rock did that as well. Is, I don't know if that's always a good thing, though, because sometimes it's like, eh, I... these voice actors are good voice actors, but they're not great singers. I think that a lot of voice actors can sing, uh, but there are some that can't, and they should not be singing an opening song. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. But I think with how personalized the arcs are and how they always center around one girl, it's good for theming. To yes, have the in Monogatari, yes. Yeah, it, it's kind of a... It makes, like, the song... Not only are the songs well-written, the visuals are pretty decent, but it ties into the theme of the arc that they're discussing. So yes. having the character be the voice actor who sings that opening sequence for that arc is pretty smart i think it's really creative yeah, yeah i do too um and the way they the, especially in the later parts of monogatari the way they kind of switch some things up like for zoko war in monogatari for example it's the only uh monogatari op where there's a solo male singer and it's it's aradagi's voice actor um but the song is played in reverse in the op you know i and looked up what happened in Zoku, and all I can say is, now that I understand the structure of Monogatari openings, it's mm -hmm. like it was obvious from the start what was going to happen with Zoku if we thought <laughs> yeah. about it enough. And I'm like, God damn it, Nisio Isid, you fucking genius bastard, dude! Like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, really, oh, really, you should you should thank Akiyuki Shimbo, the director of the anime. <laughs> oh, amazing. Uh, I'm never gonna watch Zoku, but I do know what it's about now. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm out of. I, I got out of Monogatari. I'm never coming back. Listen, it's fine. It's fine. I came you can here for the two brushing scenes, and then they stopped doing two. Brushing hey, scenes. hey. <laughs> you, you, the thing is, you can still watch the OPs, and the the, the new OP for the most recent uh, season that's come out is is great. Um, if you like Mosu Express, you'll probably love it. Yeah, Just you mentioned that it there. to me last time, but. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of Annie songs that, like, my favorite opening Annie songs aren't just Annie songs, but just um, just songs in general. Mm. Is that yeah. they introduced me to a lot of different artists that I otherwise would have never discovered. Uh, for example, Nano. Uh, she uh, No Pain, mm -hmm. No Gain from 
Batum, I think it was the anime was Yeah, called. Batum. It introduced me to Nano. Like, prior to this, I think I knew one other Nano song because she did the opening song for Kami Fi Brain. Kami no Fi Brain. It was this weird puzzle thing where, again, I, people... <laughs> there were is people, that a game or an anime? It's, it's an anime about, oh. like, puzzles and stuff. And basically... Every character represents a super genius. Like one's Isaac Newton, one's Galileo, uh, one is um, Einstein. Is this, is this fate? No, no. It's like <laughs> it's a world where puzzles are king, and they battle by battling with their wits and solving puzzles. I. It was a I weird see. show, bro. I don't. I can't explain to you this, but because the opening song uh, by Nano was really good, I continued to watch uh, Fi Brain, and then i heard nano again in batum and i was like oh my god this song is so good no pain no gain is super good of a song and it introduced me to nano and i absolutely love her music it's amazing okay yeah um i mean speaking of a of a no no thing uh we haven't talked about this game from no game no life <laughs> that's a pretty good op it is a good op I... but as me and john said we don't think it's that popular I mean, in I the mean, anime space, it is. We I were mean, talking sure. about iconic anime. Like, we yeah. we think that me, at least for me, I'm not sure what Shinoda thinks now that I'm trying to clear up this misunderstanding. In terms of iconic, popular anime songs, we have the top of the top, right? We have freaking, we have Go. We have, um... Cruel Angel's Thesis. Cruel Angel's Thesis. We have Tank. Tank. Um, I'm trying to think of other super pop... We have Rewrite super popular right just super popular yeah. but i think that for no game no life this game it's a good song i like it great and song. I, but the thing is i don't think it's that big anymore like people who like no game no life like the song but i don't think it yeah. transcends the anime like it's an iconic song for the fans for sure yeah, yeah but... i just remember it i remember it like you know, like what chinoda was saying with uh Garenge. when that anime came out that song was everywhere man yeah, but I feel like there are certain songs that uh, iconic anime songs that just transcend the anime's time period in yeah. general. Like timeless, for example, they're timeless. Yeah, they're timeless. Like the the Lucky Star opening song. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> I just I can hear it in my head <laughs> though. Lucky Star I can opening. literally is... hear it in my head. I, I don't I don't I don't remember I don't remember what the, the <laughs> I don't know remember what the Japanese like actual title is. I know it translates to take it sailor clothes. <laughs> <laughs> something something sun piece. Darling darling please. Yeah, I remember this song. It was super popular. Uh, like everyone at anime conventions, and I'm gonna, doing this, the dance. Everyone and, knew it. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna fucking ruin it for you because the next time you go listen to it, tell me at the very beginning they're not saying oh, not I like sausage. <laughs> it sounds exactly like they're saying I like sausage. Yeah, it does. Like there was a whole meme video about <laughs> anime opies that sound uh, like they're saying something else. <laughs> it's so stupid. It sounds and I can't exactly. Unhear it. Like they're saying, to... <laughs> I like sausage. I'm going to see if I can hear I like sausage, because all I hear is something, something, three, san piece. <laughs> like, each ni san piece. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they say. That's yeah. all I know that they say. But, um, yeah, like, I think for No Game No Life, it's it's popular among the people who like it, but I don't think No Game No Life is going to... I hate to say this, Alex, but I don't think mm -hmm. No Game No Life is going to be a timeless anime. <laughs> I mean, perhaps not. It's still a good anime, and it's still that song is still a really good song. Yeah, like I feel like Bebop and Tank is timeless. The song and oh, the, yeah. the anime, timeless. I I definitely don't think that Classic. No Game No Life or the OP itself is going to be timeless. But I do think within the anime space, it's something that people will remember, especially if they remember liking the anime. Yeah, for sure. Uh, like, <laughs> you know, it's I feel like. Log Horizon with database, <laughs> like <laughs> the fact that listen, I like Man with a Mission. I think the music's pretty, pretty chill. Uh, I really like Database. A uh, funny song, hilarious. I can't <laughs> believe database, database. that they used the song for two seasons in a row. <laughs> yeah, listen, they uh, knew they were never gonna top it. Was it two seasons or was it just the entire twenty-four episodes? Because they had two cores 
It was the I entire was 24 just... episodes. Yeah. 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 It's like they changed the ending song, but they didn't change yeah. the opening song. <laughs> they just Whether... knew. They they knew it was never going to be top, so why even try? Yeah. I mean, uh, oh my god, who does the, the songs for... Use your words. I can't. Words. Uh, it's about Norse people or Nordic Vinland people. Saga. Vinland, Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga. Who's yeah. the band? Uh, fuck. Uh, Let me look it for up. For which which season? Something survives at the prophet. Survives at the prophet. Yes. Yes. Amazing band. Vinland Saga introduced me to survives at the prophet and amazing band. I love their music. I feel like that's a. I wouldn't say I don't have a favorite op. I would say, but. I do know that because of Vinland Saga, it introduced me to another really good band, which is Survives at the Prophet. Mm. So, you know, an, uh, an OP we haven't talked about that was everywhere for a long time that I'm surprised we haven't talked about, Hacking to the Gate from Steins Gate. Oh. I don't yeah, know I if I remember it. that. I, I, mean, I, I can't remember the opening song. That's shocking. <laughs> I might have but, skipped it. I might not have not. I might have not liked it. Well, I mean, to be if fair, I, if those I first few, can't remember it, first, I don't think I liked it. <laughs> those first few episodes are a bit of a slog to get through. So you might have just skipped through the OP just to get through the episode. I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I feel like a lot of anime openings, as long as they're just like a good song and memorable, they're 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 going to be good. But yeah, definitely for sure. Like with. For example, Aqua Times Alones. The arc that that is the opening song for is the Arankar arc where Ichigo awakens to his Arankar powers. And it's fucking hype, bro. It's so cool. Yeah. Like, oh, we're like, oh, we're where are these Vizords and this yeah. Arankar? And we're like, whoa, dude, there's all this new stuff. And it's like, oh, my God, he's mastering his Bankai. And it's like, oh, my God, it's a hype, so fucking hype arc. And the song just like the opening sequence like it's not impressive or anything it's like it's shown in openings like i don't think there's that many openings in shonen's where it's like whoa that was such an impressive thing other than other than absolute zero because cloverworks knocked it out of the park with that loved it absolutely beautiful animation wise but the song itself is really good and it ties into a really important arc yeah, yeah just I like bluebird agree. and uh in in naruto in Shippuden. Yeah. 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 Like everyone knows heroes come back from as yeah. the first Shippuden. Which is a song. which by the way, great fucking OP for a continuation. A yeah, dude, dude, dude amazing. <laughs> I don't even remember who sings Heroes Come Back. Um Does it matter? <laughs> but I, I know so Heroes hype. Come Back because Shippuden is fucking hype because sh we're we're at the time skip and Shippuden's hype as hell. We're back, baby. Pelic. It's where shit starts hitting the fan. What'd you say? Pelic. P -E -P yeah, hold on. Let's see. Okay, well, <laughs> the band that sings Heroes Come Back, uh, amazing song, yeah. amazing visuals, uh, because Shippuden's back. But I will argue that Blue Bird is probably the most iconic Shippuden opening song. Yeah, it's the one everyone goes to. Like, I, I, you, I know you mentioned, what, uh, Silhouette, obviously, yeah. but I feel like a lot of people probably gravitate more towards Bluebird as their favorite Shippuden OP. Probably. Uh, my favorite is still going to be Silhouette, because I just absolutely love the song. The visuals in it look really good, too. And it gives you some good memories of Filthy Frank. And, and just Filthy Frank, dude. Like, <laughs> oh, man, I love this song. Yeah, it's Pelleck. P-E-L-L-E-K. Yeah, one OP I definitely want to bring up real quick also is and and not just because it's a great song it's a very it's a super catchy jazzy song but also the fact that they did something very different with the visuals in this and instead of making it like something drawn or or even cgi it's stop motion animation um is the first season of b stars with um wild side by uh ali see the only b stars opening i remember is the <laughs> Yo, it's so V1. <laughs> <laughs> Monsters are a really good song, bro. <laughs> it's it's you're I not... haven't even I haven't even watched it and I it's on my playlist. I'm like, yo, I, I fucking banked this. <laughs> I don't I was like I I continually 
think the only anime opening that happens it for uh, B Stars is the Yosobi Monster one. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I know it's season two, I but I that's all I hear is it's, it's in your mind. Monster. It's like it's, it's this has always been the OP. It will always be the OP. <laughs> <laughs> that's the iconic OP, bro. Like whatever. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I just I wanted to bring that up because I like the visuals in that because they did the stop motion animation. And it's something different. It's 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 unique. It's kind of quirky. I like it. I mean, I'd argue that um, in recent, like most more recent, for the most one of the most famous animes now is Free Run. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. Also yeah. done by Yo Asobi. <laughs> also done by Yo Asobi. <laughs> but amazing Yo-Sobi. visuals, amazing songs. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. It, it does link together, but as long as the song, I mean, good, I don't really care. I mean, I'm just gonna put this out there. We did a we did a spoiler cast on Free Run. You should go watch it if you have it. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, um, but I, I, yeah, I, I think this is a good place to stop, though. Um, yeah, because I mean, we could sit here and go on and on probably for the next twelve hours talking about OPs. Um, but we've yeah. we've hit on a lot of stuff from more recent times that we didn't back in our old uh, episode, mainly because did. they didn't exist yet. When we did yeah, some of them. But I think we, I think we had a good mix of stuff that was older versus stuff that's uh, that's newer. Um, so yeah, uh, let us know down below what you think is your uh, favorite anime OP ever, um, and OPs that you think have like great songs, good visuals, things like that, and the ones that you remember the most. Um, I have to sneeze. Oh, while he does that, <laughs> I'm just gonna say some of my favorite ones that didn't come up. Uh, all the Konosuba o- openings, I love the visuals and uh, and how they sound. They're great done by Makiko, if I remember right, or if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Danten, uh, Daten uh, by Creepy Nuts. Fucking fantastic. Really what introduced me to uh, Creepy Nuts. Bro, the uh, only Creepy Nuts song I liked was the Bing, Bling Brown bing, Bone. Bing, bing, bong, bing, bong, I know, bong. I know. You don't you don't like them most of the time, but But Bling Brown Bone was a bop, bro. The, the animation on it was amazing, and the song is a fucking bop. Uh, Love Dramatic by Suzuki... Uh, Masayuki, yeah, Masayuki, uh, which was the original opening for Kaguya Sama uh, season one, fucking banger. Uh, Inferno, Miss Green Apple, uh, Fire Force, uh, really good visuals in that too. Bless David yeah, Productions, absolutely. David Productions, bless David Productions. Raise your flag uh, from Man with a Mission for Iron Blooded Orphans gets my heart pumping yeah. every single time. One of these days I will watch that anime, I promise. You don't, it's and so the best good. thing about Iron-Blooded Orphans is, you it's don't a have standalone. to watch any, Yeah, it, you don't yeah. have to watch any Gundam to know, you don't have to watch any of the yeah. Gundams to ever know anything about so it. So I've been told. They have references and from, stuff, but it which doesn't from, matter. Which from Mercury is the same way, isn't it? Yes. Yes, yes it is. Yeah. Which is fantastic. Um, which also has the, a Yosobi doing the opening song. <laughs> 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 they don't and, miss! They, Yosobi doesn't miss! Just saying, just letting you know. And my final one now. This is a real oldie. Uchu Senken Yamato by Isao oh. uh, Sasaki. This is the opening for Space Battleship Yamato. Of one of the, like, old, old anime. I mean, before we were born anime. Yeah. Fantastic. Just really sets up the show. Uh, extremely old anime. Extremely worth it because you see some of the classic stuff that inspired that is inspired even uh to this day anyway, so i just want to say my uh once real quick alex go on with your closing awesome, i'm no. sorry no i yeah yeah, yeah, yeah I'd, you listed some awesome stuff um but thank you everyone for dropping by to watch us talk about our favorite ops please do not forget to like comment subscribe all that good stuff if you like what you saw and you want to see more uh you can check down below for links to all the stuff the anime club after dark does we also have a link to our merch store down there where you can help us out by buying anime club after dark merch but with all that being said i have been your host alex and we will see you next time say good night guys good night I want to be the very, the very best. best. We, didn't like no <laughs> <laughs> we didn't talk about Pokemon! We didn't talk about Pokemon! So many American good OPs. Ones, bro. Oh my god. Also, I just want to say, for all you One Piece fans out there that would just want to know, where were the One Piece OPs? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Natai why he wasn't on this episode. He watched yeah. it. <laughs>
Yeah. Our resident One Piece guy was not here to tell us about One Piece, so I, I can't tell you. <laughs> anyway, bye! <laughs>